Hello friends, today we are guiding you to prepare interview questions on ADA, Analysis Design and Algorithms. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you. Before continue to our session, we request you to join our channel for all the latest updates. Our team of technical and subject matter experts are working hard to create valuable content just for you. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. What is ADA, and what are its primary features? ADA is a high-level, statically typed programming language designed for developing reliable, efficient, and maintainable software, particularly for systems where safety and real-time performance are critical. It was developed in the 1980s by the U.S. Department of Defense, DOD, to replace various programming languages used in embedded and mission-critical systems, providing a more structured and standardized approach. Some of ADA's primary features include as follows. Strong typing. ADA enforces strict type checks, minimizing errors and enhancing safety by preventing type mismatches during compilation. Concurrency support. ADA has built-in support for tasking and parallel programming, allowing the creation of concurrent processes that can run simultaneously, which is crucial for real-time systems. Modular design. ADA encourages modularity using packages, which promote the separation of concerns and improve code organization, reusability, and maintainability. Exception handling. ADA offers robust exception handling mechanisms, enabling programs to recover gracefully from runtime errors. Real-time systems support, ADA provides features like direct access to hardware and predictable timing behavior, making it ideal for embedded and real-time applications. Object-oriented and structured programming, ADA supports both procedural and object-oriented paradigms, allowing developers to use the most suitable approach for a given problem. Explain the key differences between ADA and other programming languages like C or C++. ADA differs from languages like C and C++ in several key areas, making it particularly suited for safety-critical, embedded, and real-time systems. Strong typing and safety, ADA enforces strict type checking, ensuring that mismatched types are caught during compilation, reducing runtime errors. In contrast, C and C++ are more permissive, which can lead to undetected errors like buffer overflows or type mismatches. Concurrency support, ADA has built-in support for concurrency via tasks, protected objects, and rendezvous mechanisms, making it easier to write safe, parallel, and real-time programs. While C and C++ offer threading libraries, like threads in C and STD colon thread in C++. Concurrency handling is more manual and error-prone. Exception handling. ADA's exception handling is robust and integrated into the language, allowing structured error management. In C and C++, exception handling exists but is less tightly integrated and often less consistent, especially in C. Memory management. ADA has automatic memory management and controlled access to pointers, minimizing memory-related bugs. In contrast, C and C++ require developers to manually manage memory, making them prone to issues like memory leaks and dangling pointers. Modularity, ADA's package system and encapsulation promote clear, modular code. While C and C++ have headers and classes, ADA's packages are more stringent, encouraging better separation of concerns and code reusability. How does ADA handle type safety? And why is it considered a strongly typed language? ADA is considered a strongly typed language because it enforces strict type rules that prevent type mismatches and errors during both compilation and runtime. This focus on type safety ensures that only valid operations are performed on data, significantly reducing the likelihood of bugs related to incorrect type usage. ADA handles type safety through several mechanisms as follows. Strict type checking. It requires that all variables and expressions have explicit, well-defined types, and it ensures that operations are only performed between compatible types. For example, trying to assign an integer to a floating point variable or adding incompatible data types results in a compile time error. 
no implicit type conversions. Ada does not allow implicit type conversions. For example, in C or C++, converting an integer to a float might happen automatically. In Ada, explicit conversions are required, which helps avoid unintended data loss or errors. Subtype constraints Ada supports subtypes, allowing the programmer to define ranges and constraints for data types, further improving type safety by preventing invalid values from being assigned to variables. Access types and pointers Ada manages memory safety by limiting pointer operations and providing controlled access types, minimizing issues like buffer overflows and dangling pointers. All these features make Ada a strongly typed language, ensuring better program reliability and reducing runtime errors. What is the role of the package in Ada programming? In Ada programming, a package is a fundamental construct used to organize and encapsulate code promoting modularity, reusability, and maintainability. A package in Ada consists of two main components, the specification and the body. Specification The package specification defines the public interface of the package. It declares the types, constants, variables, subprograms, procedures and functions, and exceptions that can be accessed from outside the package. The specification serves as a contract outlining the functionality provided by the package without exposing its implementation details. Body The package body contains the actual implementation of the subprograms and data types declared in the specification. It provides the detailed logic behind the operations, ensuring that users of the package interact with a well-defined interface, without needing to know how the internals work. Packages in Ada allow for encapsulation, meaning the implementation details are hidden from the user, reducing the risk of errors and making the system more maintainable. They also support reuse, as packages can be imported and used in different parts of a program or even in other programs. By organizing code into logical, well-defined packages, Ada promotes cleaner, more structured software design, which is particularly important for large and complex systems. Can you explain the concept of protected types in Ada and provide an example use case? In Ada, protected types are a mechanism for safely managing concurrent access to shared data. They are used in situations where multiple tasks, threads, need to access and modify the same data concurrently, but without risking data corruption or race conditions. Protected types ensure that only one task can access the data at any given time providing a form of mutual exclusion. A protected type combines data encapsulation with synchronization. It contains variables, data, and protected procedures or functions that can safely access and modify the data. The key feature is that these operations are atomic, meaning once a task starts executing a protected operation, no other task can interfere with it until the operation is complete. Use case a typical use case for protected types is managing a shared counter in a multitasking system. The increment procedure ensures that only one task at a time can modify the counter, preventing race conditions. This is crucial in real time systems where data integrity is essential. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you liked the video and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you.